Coming up on Mobile Learning in the Classroom, Vocabulary, Words and Dictionaries, Part 1. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin and this is Mobile Learning in the Classroom from TechEdge and today I want to talk about everything about vocabulary, words, dictionaries, any way we can learn words. So when we think about vocabulary and learning new words, there are a few ways we can get them. Most of the words we learn, we actually learn from reading and listening to different sources and reading is the primary source to get a lot of what we call incidental learning. So learning while we're doing something else or we're learning some other material and this is a really important component. But but what we can do is use digital devices to really improve our learning and to make sure that we actually capture all of those new words. And so when we learn new words, we can learn them from context while we're reading. We can learn the meaning of a new word by using morphology, the way words change over time and their families. So uh, the connection between between words like national and international and internationally, they're all related to each other. And if you understand the components, you can actually understand a new word that comes your way. And it is about making semantic connections, the connections between words and, of course, the spelling and the sound of the word. So there are lots of ways to learn new vocabulary and to make sure that we remember it. And we know that to learn new vocabularies, we also need to see words lots of times in different contexts. The estimate is around seven times, but obviously, depending on how often you see that word, it, that can take a little bit longer or a little bit shorter time. And so we need all of that interaction around words and today we'll talk about some tools that we can use to do that and the first tool is a tool i've talked about before and that is dictionary.com so if you go to dictionary.com and you want a definition of a word let's try a simple word the word run you type it in you get the word you immediately get multiple definitions and I used uh, the word run mostly because we know this word actually has lots of uh, definitions and lots of ways to be used and the beautiful thing about uh, dictionary.com is it gives you this long list of potential and you can actually open and you can say that there are over 50 different definitions of the word run from running uh, running water to having the runs to going for a run to a running for office, lots of different ways and they're all there, very short, very understandable. Another feature that I love, and again this is available on the iPads um, as well as it is on a, on a Chromebook or on your laptop uh, the minute you're inside your browser, is that one more thing you can do is you can actually hear what it sounds like. Run. And in simple words like this, it's not a big deal, but if you're having a more complicated word that you're not sure how to say, and we've all had that, you can actually listen to it and you know a lot more about it. And the other thing you can do is go to word origin and it locates it on the map and it tells you when from uh, about when it came. And we're going to talk about the etymology and, and the way we think about where words came from and how that can help learning uh, in our part two of this series. But know that it is available here. The other piece that I love is you can easily switch over to a thesaurus so we can take a word like run and do the same thing but now we're getting alternate words and this is great when you're thinking about expanding vocabularies or when kids or ourselves are writing and we want words to replace mundane everyday words with a more sophisticated or more appropriate more specific words this is a great way to do it and you can see that when you're running it on uh, the thesaurus you have kind of color coded the words that are closest in meaning to the word run and then they get farther and farther away and you can also look at these meters where you can determine how long you want these words to be or how complex do you want them to be so you can have different ways to uh, select these words and kind of sort through them and it's a really fast way I have this bookmarked in my uh, Chrome and that's the place I go to when I just need a, a, a quick definition or especially when I'm writing and I want a quick word to replace another word. So that's an easy one. The second way to do that easily is to simply do a search on Google. So if you just look for the word run in Google 
what you will get immediately is a definition in here. Um, I got the etymology for run, which is something we'll discuss, but if you just go to run, uh, you get some hits that will be close. Uh, so there is a way to do this on Google. I prefer dictionary.com because it's designed especially for that and you don't get anything else messing with it. The second thing is you can actually down in low into Chrome the Merriam-Webster uh, dictionary as an app. And what, so what you do is you go to your, um, just let me go here to my store, to my apps. I go to my apps, I go to the second page of my apps, I've got the Merriam-Webster dictionary. And we can do the same thing as we did before. Let's use a, a new word like uh, look. And what you saw immediately is on a Merriam-Webster dictionary, you get immediately suggestions, which uh, ease up the search, especially for sophisticated words. And you can see that there's a simple definition, and I love that. There's a full definition with multiple definitions available. So you can see that Look has seven different definitions here. Um, as a transitive verb and then a few more as an intransitive verb. So you can see that this can get complicated, but I love that feature of simple definition. So you can go to that first. If it fits, great. If not, you go to the more sophisticated and you can see also lots of sentence examples. What I love about Merriam-Webster's vis-a-vis uh, -vis dictionary.com is that the look is much cleaner. You get a lot less ads so students can use it without being confused and not knowing exactly where things are. Uh, the other feature that I love is the ability to cite. It tells you exactly how to cite the source. So you can click on that and it says cite it this way. You can see that on the screen. And uh, you can also mark the word as a favorite word or even uh, use social media to share it. Obviously, look is not that special, so we don't necessarily uh, use that at that a moment in time, but you can see that uh, there is some discussion of synonyms and all that. Lots of features on Merriam-Webster, really good dictionary. I really like the way it plays up on the Chromebook and uh, inside anybody else using uh, the Chrome uh, app. So that's uh, the second one. Uh, the other one I wanted to mention, if you're working inside a Chromebook or with Chrome, what I love about working inside Drive, so Drive is obviously one of the best things about using Chrome, and if you have a document open, what you can do is you can activate the research bar on the right-hand side, and that allows you to actually pull up a dictionary. So you can search a dictionary, and in the dictionary, we'll look for the word fun. I'm using simple words, but you know that this is just an example. I actually do know what these words mean. Um, so you're looking for the word fun, and you get a, a definition you, for the noun, for the adjective, and you can see these are short definition, and they allow you to do this quick search as you're looking through your document or as you're searching for a word, and this is just an example. And the way to activate that is to go to your tools, activate research. There is a keyboard shortcut, but I find the drop-down menus a lot easier with that. And so I just click on that, and again, you can have multiple kinds of research, but in this case, we're talking about finding out what words mean in dictionary is probably the best way uh, to do that inside your a document if you're working uh, in Google Drive. So it's very, very easy. There is another app in Chrome, and that app is called Dictionary Instant. And Dictionary Instant is for short, quick uh, definitions. Again, it's just one more option if you have an, a problem with the other options. Uh, what I do like about all of these options is they don't require students to log in. They don't require you to have any data available there. So you are uh, safe to use that without compromising any student privacy, which I know is a concern. And you can do a, a search here, uh, psychosis. And it gives you spellings. And now, again, same thing. You can listen to it. Psychosis and you can get a short definition and you can again share it, like it, and all of these uh, features and you can cite. So again, that option to cite and exactly how you cite in different formats. So on the part one of uh, the show, 
on vocabulary words and dictionaries. We talked about lots of dictionaries that you can use inside your Chrome or on your iPad. And next time we'll talk about other ways we can talk about etymology and semantic connections. And I'll see you next time on mobile learning in the classroom.